Petro here. Uh, once again, we are on a road trip headed to Ohio, Canton, Ohio. We have the wife, the Llewellyn, and the Serge asleep in the back. We have just now taken off from Nashville, Tennessee, and headed to Canton, Ohio. We are going to take a little road trip stop to Abraham Lincoln's birth spot in Kentucky. So the next stop here, we will be in Kentucky at Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, uh, the birth of the Republican Party. Hey, Lou. Yeah. You ever been to Ohio? No. No, never? Never. Did you ever think you were going to go to Ohio? It was never on my list. It was never on your list to go to Ohio. Okay, we've just made it to Kentucky. It's nice and rainy. We've got this rental car, this Buick. Wife's putting in gas. Um, see the price of gas is here at 315. Yeah, that's not too bad. But damn, I almost fell on that thing. Fucking shit. But let's go in here and see uh, what this gas station is like. What are you gonna get? I want green tea. What do you think I want? A red bull. Grab it. Like a big one? A big one, please. A big one. No big red bulls. Oh um, no. You get a big monster. I think I will take a big green monster. But quite a variety of monsters. Variety. You'll see here in America, we have the beer, beer cellars, where it's like a whole thing just to like buy beer even though it's just like look at this this is just like to get beer pretty weird let's see what else we got in here donuts donuts all this coffee Dang, look at that. Would you eat that? Yeah. Sushi? No. Okay, Harold would definitely approve this gas station because it has a Burger King actually inside of the uh, of the gas station. Burger King in the gas station. Pretty interesting. And look, you can just uh, order at the kiosk here. It's pretty interesting. That Burger King order at the uh, order at the kiosk. This uh, gas station is pretty big here in Kentucky. Man, this guy here—he's got his push lawnmower, pulling it from the back of his car. I wonder what that's all about ride at the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Historical Park in Kentucky. There's probably not many people here because it's raining, but that's exactly what I wanted. And uh, this is where Abraham Lincoln grew up and walked around. Okay, here we are, the birthplace of Lincoln. You can see these cabins over here. Here's the, the Nancy Lincoln Inn. Uh, you see this here. But where I'm going is I wanna walk over here to the, the, the memorial. Uh, now, Abraham Lincoln was born here at this spot in 1809, in February of 1809. Um, he almost died in a creek that's right over here as a little boy. And uh, 
he had another brother who who passed away too on uh, uh on this property here that's a beautiful property all these hills all these trees it's just raining but i'm kind of lucking out because nobody else is here and here's this uh lincoln memorial building um all this was made possible by theodore roosevelt and uh um he made all this happen in the early 1900s i think it was like 1911 or something like that uh there's lou back there but this is all for lincoln uh, uh the birth of the republican party america so i'm walking up here it's uh a little bit chilly uh, I'd probably say it's about 50 degrees with this rain but it's really beautiful and uh, to see this um, it's really really cool it says with millage towards none with charity for all oh with malice toward none with charity for all and uh, check this out says to go around back let's check it out okay let's see if this is open it is it's open oh wow this would be lincoln's house okay i'm inside this building now the first lincoln memorial Started in 1909. So this is the actual cabin and it's been reassembled inside this building to protect it. You can kind of see in there. Okay, now you can see inside of what Lincoln's house would have looked like. Here's the other side of those doors. Wow. I read this place here in honor of the anniversary of the birth of Abraham Lincoln, 16th president. The rolling hills and sinking springs of Kentucky would become the first home of Abraham Lincoln born on this property February 12th, 1809. The historic and symbolic cabin before you stands is a reminder of Lincoln's birth and early upbringing in Kentucky, a state that would shape the man and the president our nation would come to know well. So there it is, the replica of Lincoln's, Lincoln's house that he, uh, uh, one of the greatest presidents of men of this country, grew up and lived in this very humble home. As you can see, uh, made mostly out of mud and um, and timber and wood um, to go on to do what he did for America is uh, really amazing and uh, very humbling to see uh, where where Lincoln was born and in this almost timber and mud uh, shack really really beautiful really awesome and Lincoln's birth house is inside of there on this beautiful property. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna walk down here. There's a sinkhole that is the reason why his family chose this property because of uh, this natural spring that comes through here. And that was their water source for their farm. And uh, this is, uh, there's actually a, a hole in the ground over here that you can see. Okay, this is called the sinking spring. And this is where all the drinking water and the water for uh, the family and the farm all came from here. This is actually pretty cool. Looks like something like out of the Jack Daniels distillery. Oh, 
stuff, dude. Wow, look at this. Wow, that's cool. Look at this sinkhole. Man, what would happen if I fell in there? Holy shit. What the fuck? That's crazy. Look at this. Wow. And Abraham Lincoln probably stood here many times growing up as a young man. This is where they would come and get their water. Now I'm standing here, birth of the Republican Party. Remember, uh, Abraham Lincoln's from the South. He's not from the North, he's from Kentucky. And look how beautiful this is. This is where he lived. It's all coming from back there. Well, we're somewhere in the middle of Kentucky. It is raining like hell. I'm not able to drive very fast. And um, if you look around, there's like this rain everywhere. Uh, Skyler's in the back chilling. And uh, Lou's back there with his pillow. And uh, Donna is sitting there recording. Um, and uh, we have what does it say on the thing we have 6 hours and 20 minutes to go to our arrival in Canton, Ohio uh, but we're about halfway through Kentucky on Kentucky 1967. there is a castle right there it is supposedly a winery but uh, you don't see that in Roy Rumble down don't it you don't see a castle on the side of the road every day. There it is, the dang castle. Careful, careful. It's really beautiful on these back roads of Kentucky. There's kind of rolling hills, old houses, these old stone uh, walls. Um, little tiny bitty roads to try to navigate on uh, but look at these uh, uh, old farm houses uh, really beautiful out here uh, Kentucky's really beautiful land hydroplane whoa hydroplane yeah this is uh, getting a little crazy driving on this little road out here Okay, we are in Columbus, Ohio, and it is raining. Cats and dogs, crazy style. There is so much rain. I can barely see. There is traffic on the other side. Uh, the visibility is maybe 20 or 30 feet. Um, this is pretty insane rain. It is black sky insanity. Uh, dramatic, dramatic. But we are trucking along. We have uh, a little over three and a half hours left to get to Canton, Ohio. And we are almost, uh, uh, we are in Ohio now. We passed the state line. And so it's been Tennessee, Kentucky, and now Ohio. Uh, it has rained the entire time. This is probably the heaviest of the rain we've had so far. Okay, uh, now we're driving through extreme freezing ice. It's not snow, it's freezing rain. Um, this is pretty insane. Uh, we're about an hour away from our destination in Canton, Ohio. Uh, this is pretty insane. I've never driven through anything like this before in my life. Um, uh, but we're gonna get there and it is coming down like crazy And look at look at this crazy crazy stuff. I'm driving in. This is insane. 